Hey girls, Coach B. Wiley here. Why are you single? Like literally, have you asked yourself, self, why am I single? And you want to really look at yourself. I want you to ask yourself that question and then not include a dude. Like literally not even bring in another character in the show. Literally focus on yourself. You can say this, for example, you know what, B. Wiley? I'm single because I have a tendency to choose the finest man in the room. You know what? I also have a tendency to choose and go after the players. I have a tendency to like a guy when he's a walking red flag, but because I like to take care of people, my actual job is a caregiver that I literally find myself in a dating pattern of finding dudes that I need to help. You know what? I also like dudes who usually need a place to stay. And that's probably why I've lived with the last three dudes that I've dated long term. And you know what? Speaking of, I also tend to date guys that are emotionally unavailable. I am just leading with love. I just want to be loved. I go in with pure intentions. However, I usually at attract a dude who is just not into me or it seems like he's not into me because when I try to connect with him emotionally on a deeper level, he's just checked out or he has like yes and no answers and I really don't know what's going on with him. And then that makes me confused about what are we even doing because he hasn't put a label on anything, but he's acting like he wants to be with me. I've met his friends and family, but every time he introduces me, he calls me his friend, his gal pal, his homegirl. He never says I'm his woman, but he makes me feel that way. Like what is going on, B. Wiley? What is going on, girl? You see that whole thing I just rolled out? And I know you guys that are watching, excuse me, you ladies that are watching, you're like, what's she talking to me? Yeah, I am. I'm 100% <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> so what are you going to do? So me personally, I used to have a history of attracting the emotionally unavailable guy. That stems from my childhood because I was raised by an emotional, un emotionally unavailable parent. And so then that was just like, oh, aha. And I found that out through a therapist. <laughs> and so, you know, you have to work through it. And so now you have to get down to the bottom of why you like what you like and why your type is your type. And generally when we like what we like and our type is our type, it comes from someplace place. You don't just like something for no reason. There's some kind of benefit either you want to get from it or you think you're going to get from it. So get down to it and that'll explain to you why you're single. And then ultimately, I got to sneeze, <coughs> excuse me. And then ultimately, you'll then make the necessary tweaks you need to make with you Deal with whatever it is you have to deal with as of why as to why you keep attracting these toxic characteristics in dudes so that you can then stop doing that, start doing this, and then begin to attract a new thing. So let me know in the comments. Number one, if you're ready to have that conversation, put ready. And then number two, if you're going to stick with it, so that you can get the guy that you truly want, the guy that you've worked on yourself to attract, and the guy that is no longer going to be like all those previous guys that didn't go nowhere, that you chose to invest your time in, and that you chose to date. Because it is a decision, right? So let's break that cycle. Let's break that pattern. But first, it starts with you. So let me know in the comments that you're ready. Put your hand up. Say, I'm ready, B. Wiley, and let's get to work. Talk to you later.